Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today, I'm going to be covering how to transfer items between characters safely. You do not need Fallout First to do this, and I will show you the safest ways to do it and some not so safe ways to do it. So let's get into it here. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is that when you are transferring items between characters, there's a good chance your game could freeze, crash, who knows what could happen. A meteorite could hit something you never know. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this the not safe ways. It could happen. It's happened to me literally while I was recording this. This is what happened. My screen froze and I did lose an item. Thankfully, I wasn't, you know, transferring anything valuable, but just keep that in mind. It can happen. Also, if you do have, you know, some people near you, you know, maybe some weirdo on top of a water stand that likes to get naked out of nowhere, maybe not a good place to trade. Just throwing it out there. Be weary of other people, everybody. And uh, just for the sake of the video, I will be using the blue suitcase to transfer items at the White Springs train station. Um, you can use many other containers. You do not have to use this one. Like I'm at the Rusty Pick here. You can see the cash register is here. You could use this if you want. Just make sure it has the zero out of zero at the bottom, just so it makes things easier. And you can pretty much transfer to anything. So let's get into ways to do this now. If you do have access to a private lobby, this is definitely one of the safer ways to do it. So you just want to build a private lobby, get whatever gun or whatever you want to trade and put it in your container. And then you're going to leave the server and go back to main menu. And just keep in mind, you have to be quick when you're doing this. If you dawdle around for too long, it'll build a new world and you won't go back into the same world. So make sure you change your character quick. Go back into your private lobby. Do not click adventure and go to a public lobby. Make sure you go back into your private lobby. And it should say world found if you were quick enough. I would say you got a good minute or two. And then when you load back into the lobby with uh, your other character, just head on over to the stash box that you put your item in, and it should be there. Um, another way to do this is, is you could just find someone on your uh, friends list and join them, like I'm doing here. This does not involve Fallout First unless they... Well, even if they have Fallout First, you should be good. So you'll join them and then you can put, you know, whatever item in whatever container that you want and then go back to main menu, switch characters again, and then just use the social menu to get back into the same server. Now, if your friend hops servers or something quickly, then, you know, this might not work. So, again, just keep that in mind when you're doing it this way. There is a chance you could lose some stuff. Th these are good ways if you're not transferring stuff that's too valuable. Like maybe some junk for a friend or something like that, right? And then you'll come back into the lobby here without any problems, of course, and your item should be there. Hopefully without any problems. Um, another way to do this is to just join a random team in a public server. And what you can actually do is, after you put your item in the container, of course, is you can just close application. And what this will do is, is basically trick the game into thinking that you, um, the application erred, and it will keep you on the same team. Do not go back to main menu. Make sure you close app and load it up again, and you'll say you have joined team, and then change your character, and then you just have to click on play with team, and you will go back into that same server. So there's definitely other ways to do it without Fallout first. And as I'm showing here, the weapon is here. So, not the safest ways to do this, but if you need to transfer something quick and, or you want to risk it, th these are ways to do it. The safest way to transfer items, I think most people would agree, is just find someone that you know you can trust, go into the trade menu, and just give that friend the item. Um, I suggest doing it this way too because you could drop it on the ground and the game could crash. Like, it happens. So, just do the trade menu. If you get it where you can't trade, just have your friend join an event and come back. It's what we call the trade glitch. And by joining the event and coming back, it will fix it. And then you can, like I said, just give your friend 
the um, item that you want to trade, and then you can, you know, go do whatever you want. I'm sure your friend will hang on to it as long as possible. If it errors, you're good. Um, if something comes up, you have to run out quickly, you're good. You're pretty much good to go. I don't think your friend, or a, that's why I say a good friend, wouldn't, um, you know, be in a rush to uh, make you get it back off them. I'm sure they would hang on to you, or onto it for you, as long as you would need them to. And this is definitely the safest way to do it. If you are transferring anything remotely valuable, please just do it this way. Um, I would say most of us have a friend on here to play with. If not, you know, maybe throw a mic on in a public lobby. There's a lot of nice people out there in Fallout that would love to help you. I'm one of them. And another way to do this too is, um, or sorry, if say you don't have a friend um, and you want to do it, uh, you know, without having the chance of somebody stealing it on you as well you could come down here where i'm showing in the rusty pick uh, maybe not this exact spot because people might use this now but just be far away from everybody like i'm in an interior and i went way down in the basement you know by the time you switch characters and come back or do whatever trick you want to do to switch uh characters and come back into the same server you know that it's pretty much going to be there, right? Because nobody's going to expect a random weapon to be down in that icebox for all of a minute or two, right? So just keep that in mind, too, if you are doing this solo without a friend. Just another little trick. Just make sure you're putting your items, you know, maybe not in the blue suitcase at White Springs, because people are especially checking that. Um, another safe way to make... Um, or to transfer items is you can ask a courier. This is good for trades as well, but let me just read this. What is a courier and what do they do? Couriers are trusted members within the community, which is the marketplace on Reddit. They're there to help you with your trades to prevent a scam from taking place. They will take the agreed items from both players, verify that you're correct and distribute the items in correct recipient or recipients. They will also help you transfer characters if you ask nicely. Do couriers charge for their services? No, they do not. However, tips are encouraged. Some couriers Players also offer muling services in which they can or which they may charge for their time and service so that's cool too right if you want to you know pay someone a couple of caps it they won't charge you much i'm sure um what makes a courier trusted our couriers are trusted as they've been a part of the fallout community for quite some time they are experienced traders with the karma to show it rest assured these players have a clean trading record and a perfect reputation trust me you can trust the couriers on reddit i will link a video in the description showing you how to trade on reddit and how to find the marketplace if you're not familiar with it if you are big into fallout 76 i cannot stress it enough to get a reddit account you will thank me later trust me and that's pretty much it everybody the best ways to transfer items between characters whether it's safe or it's not so safe make sure you're being safe if it's something valuable and yeah everybody as always thank you so much for watching and have a lovely evening